Yo, what up, and welcome to a new figure review. Welcome to SH Figure Arts Figure Review number 24 and this time we got another custom figure to take a closer look at and yes this has to do with the Goku Black Arc from Dragon Ball Super like I said if you watched my regular SH Figure Arts Goku Black figure review where I looked at the base as well as Super Saiyan Rose. This is basically the new arc or the next arc that we'll be delving into since I have a lot of the figures from the Goku Black arc. So yeah, if you like this sort of thing and you're new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. But anyway, this is a custom and it's a good one and there might be a conversation to be had in regards to one of the heads that's included with this custom. Now, like I said, I've already reviewed Goku Black in his base as well as in his Super Saiyan Rose form. And as you know, if you've read the manga and if you haven't read the manga, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I highly recommend the manga. It's a lot different from the anime actually. So it's kind of like, maybe if you didn't like everything that you saw in the anime, maybe the manga could actually, I don't know, change your mind or uh, have some things that you, that you did want to see. So yeah, I highly recommend the Dragon Ball Super Manga. And in the Dragon Ball Super Manga, like I said, if you read it yourself, hell yeah. If not, let me enlighten you. Um, Goku Black is able to go not just Super Saiyan, but in my opinion, Super Saiyan 2. And that was very interesting. Now before you go ape sh in the comments, I did my research and I'm not kidding. I got the manga right here actually. And uh, I might just show a picture right here. And as you can see, ta-da, the manga. And as you can see, or I might just, just show it, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 2 the moment he sees Goku Black. And in response to Vegeta going Super Saiyan 2, Goku Black. Go Super Saiyan 2 and here's the colored variant. And why do I think this is Super Saiyan 2? It's very obvious. The hair is super spiky. It's not Goku's regular Super Saiyan hair. And of course, he has fucking lightning. And it's not like he just has it in this moment. No. Throughout the entire fight, as well as on the next page, I believe. Yeah. Throughout their entire little scrap, Goku Black has lightning around his Super Saiyan form the entire time. So yeah, I do believe that this is actually Super Saiyan 2 and that's also why I have named it as such in the title of this video. And uh, yeah, like, you know, if you disagree, that's fine. But let me, <laughs> let me keep it a buck with you for a second. The moment this figure review is over, and even as I'm doing this figure review, in my head, in the Qniverse as well, this is Super Saiyan 2. And that is one of the forms that we're gonna take a look at, because the second head that he's also included with is his mastered Super Saiyan Rose head. Now again, you might go f***ing crazy and, and be like, what the f***, we, we didn't see him in Master Super Saiyan Rose, and I know that especially a couple years ago, that would have been a hot, hot, hot topic. But <laughs> Super Dragon Ball Heroes basically said, you know what would be fun if we just grabbed Super Saiyan Rose and did the usual Super Saiyan treat to it? Because in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, not saying it's canon, if you want it to be, Go ahead. We also have Super Saiyan 4 Super Dragon Ball Heroes and Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Dragon Ball Heroes. So hey, there's something for everyone in that series. And it, you know, if you want to view it as canon, hell yeah. If not, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So anyway, in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, we get Goku Black in Super Saiyan Rose 1, Super Saiyan Rose 2, Super Saiyan Rose 3, and Mastered Super Saiyan Rose. Which, yeah, I already named three. So I thought his master form would be something among the lines of like a Super Saiyan 4-ish variant, you know? But basically it's just his muscles become fucking huge like on some Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilder type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like he becomes big, like huge, with his hair like a Super Saiyan 3 but with 
his eyebrows. So he even has better eyebrows than I have. So anyway, um, yeah, quick, quick joke aside. His master Super Saiyan Rose form was truly something else and just crazy. But he, you know, spoiler alert for Super Dragon Ball Heroes fans, if you haven't watched that episode, he gets the One Punch Man treatment uh, by Gogeta in his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution form. So yeah, that was. Uh, Weird, especially in the death scene or when he dies. There's he doesn't scream, but he has his mouth open as he falls backwards and fades away. But there's no scream, so it's it's really awkward. So, <laughs> but anyway, before this you know form was a thing, as you can see right here, I just thought that you know Master Super Saiyan Rose would just be as similar to Goku's regular Master Super Saiyan 1, you know, grade 4. So for this figure review, like I said, we're taking a look at Super Saiyan 2, as well as, where is that head? Well, it's actually behind this picture. Mastered Super Saiyan Rose. Now this custom was made by Timmy Customs, also known as Luis Alfonso Diaz Fuentes. Yes, that's one long but beautiful name. So uh, yeah, Luis, shout out to you. I'll put a link to your Instagram down in the description below. This man makes some of the most fantastic custom SH Fig Arts figures. And yeah, I've, I've commissioned him a bunch of times and this was one of those figures that once I had him, and I actually have my reaction when I saw him for the first time and put a link to that unboxing series episode down in the description below as well. I I knew I had to make a figure review for this awesome custom. So again, shout out to you, Lewis. Thank you so much for making this. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Super Saiyan 2 and Master Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black right now. The time of judgment is at hand. And here's the Super Saiyan 2 head, and as you can see, it looks fan fucking tastic. Now the colors that you see in regards to the hair, those are not saturated. Those are the actual colors of this hair piece that Lewis put on there. And as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Lewis, you really put the golden warrior aspect of Super Saiyan in this hairstyle because wow, this motherfucker shines. Like it is unreal. But at the same time, he looks so fucking menacing, especially in regards to the custom faces. He looks so fucking accurate. Lewis, you fucking nailed it. Now, obviously, we're not gonna go over the box. We're not gonna go over the articulation. We're not gonna go over the usual accessories that are included with this figure. If you want to see that, link in the description to figure review number 23, Goku Black in his base and Super Saiyan Rose. If you want to know the specific accessories and all that good stuff, definitely check that video out. But this one, oh my god, he looks so fucking cool. I really really love it from the moment that I saw it in a manga and we didn't see it in the anime I knew I just fucking knew I had to have a custom variant of Goku Black rocking his Super Saiyan 2 hairstyle now something that in my opinion Lewis nailed and SH Fig Arts didn't was of course this strand of hair right here and especially if you saw a uh, figure review number 23 you know how I said the, that the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black hairstyle was almost perfect apart from one thing and that one thing was of course this strand of hair right here and Lewis did include it even with his Super Saiyan 2 hairstyle which also had it of course but still it looks so fucking cool it, it, it's just fucking crazy to me to see how far the custom minifigure community has come over these past couple of years and even though this figure is already like what two three years old it still looks up to date and it, it's just fucking awesome so yeah much love to you Lewis now for a quick 360 look of the hairstyle here he is from his left side and again the hairstyle man it just fucking explodes it's just so big and wide and I really really fucking love it because this truly shows that how his hairstyle differs to Goku in Super Saiyan Blue and you know in regular Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 so again it looks so fucking awesome and the coloring here on the side the way that dark part just goes from the left down here it looks 
very, very good. Now here he is from his right side and again it, it's different from, from what you just saw and that is what I love. It's not the same on either side. That is what I love because with the Super Saiyan Rosé headpiece from SH Figure Arts it does seem like it's the same on both sides even though we already know from both the anime and the manga that that's just straight up not true. It's not accurate and this is 10 times more accurate and I really really fucking love it again the shading the look the feel all of it it's fucking awesome and last but certainly not least here he is from the back now this does seem a bit more familiar which <laughs> oh my god anyway <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke there that I'm not gonna make. Anyway, regardless, this does look a bit more familiar to your standard and regular Goku Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan Blue hairstyle and even similar to Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black's hairstyle. And that just goes to show how good Lewis really is when it comes to making his own hair sculpt. So again, fucking mad respect to you, Lewis. You nailed it. It looks fantastic. Now, like I stated before, if it was just this that that would already be very very good but this is not where this figure review ends because Lewis didn't just only make a very very awesome and accurate hair sculpt he also made multiple extra faces to go with this custom head and first of all like I said you have this very stern looking facial expression ready to kick some ass but apart from that he also comes with this screaming face which is of course very accurate to the anime as well as the manga because now that Zamasu has control over Saiyan body he also is gonna have that warrior feel about fighting and he's gonna scream a lot so yeah this of course was a must have in regards to the facial expressions now you might be asking yourself bro what the hell is going on in regards to his face like it looks kind of dirty well that's because I actually asked Lewis to add a couple scruff marks because I wanted to have it as accurate as possible to the manga and obviously he's been fighting Vegeta at this point in Super Saiyan 2, you know, a Super Saiyan 2 clash, so to speak. And yeah, obviously you're gonna get fucked up, you're gonna, you know, get a couple scruff marks. So there are actually two faces that are clean and two faces that are fucked up. And the funny f aspect, of course, is that the two faces that are fucked up are the more aggressive, so to speak, facial expressions that is included with this custom figure. But yeah, I had to have a screaming face for this head. And Lewis nailed it. Again, the detail, it looks fantastic. The coloring looks amazing. So yeah, overall, it looks fucking awesome. Then he also comes with this very evil grinning face. And obviously, that was a very big part of Goku Black. Like, this dude was a fucking psychopath, a creep. He took pleasure in the weirdest of things. So yeah, he, he definitely has some weird fucking kings, yo. I don't know what the fuck is up with Goku Black, but he's one weird motherfucker. Like I said, he also comes with this grinning face ready to creep you out if you don't hit that like button right now but again <laughs> but jokes aside he looks absolutely fucking fantastic so yeah and I really think this could easily have been an official release for sure like SH figures could have for sure made their own Super Saiyan variant of Goku Black and I, you know would have just put him up for like 60 bucks easy no cap especially if you look at the, the, the character roster of the past couple of releases from SH figures yeah, they definitely could have had him up for pre-order for like 60 bucks easy But again, like I said, this one also has the scruff marks and just that evil fucking grin The creepy face, I absolutely fucking love it because it's so fucking accurate So again, thank you so much to you, Lewis, you fucking nailed it. And now, last but certainly not least in regards to the Super Saiyan facial expressions, he also comes with this very confident facial expression. Just one of those facial expressions that you know Goku Black is holding back his power. You know what I'm saying? Like, he either knows that he, he's got backup or that he's got more power in the tank. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude is very confident and this is definitely the facial expression to show that and yeah again he looks so fucking terrifying like this dude really took pleasure in killing a lot of people a lot of filthy mortals as he would put it especially those who didn't subscribe to this channel he took a really big pleasure in punishing those but anyway 
<laughs> Jokes aside, he looks absolutely fantastic. Lewis, you nailed all the fucking faces for the Super Saiyan form. And yeah, it, it's... It's fucking awesome. If this was, quote unquote, it's, if this was everything that a figure came with, apart from the extra hands and the, the Kamehameha piece, I would definitely pre-order this if this was an official product, but it's not, but you can order one. Obviously you have to pay for it, but you can actually commission Lewis to make this Super Saiyan 2 Goku Black custom. And again, if you want to, definitely go to the link in the description to his Instagram page, slide it into his DM, and yeah, just basically be like, let's talk shop. I saw the Qniverse's figure review and yo, it was popping with it. So yeah, if you want to have it, I'm sure Lewis will do it for the right price. But yeah, this last Super Saiyan facial expression that's included with this custom minifigure really solidifies the confident look that Goku Black had and felt when he was in Super Saiyan 2. But that's not all. Without further ado, let's go and check out Goku Black's Mastered Super Saiyan Rose 4 right now you fool die and here it is and as you can see mastered Super Saiyan Rose Timmy customs edition is absolutely fucking beautiful oh my fucking god does it look good I mean holy shit if you wanted to see Goku black in his Super Saiyan Rose form max the Fuck out and looking badass than this is the custom figure for you. Holy shit, this looks so good. Holy fuck, bro. I have not seen it in person, like, ever since I got it. This is literally the first time for me seeing this mastered Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle, and oh my fucking god. Lewis, what did you do? This is just so fucking awesome, man. Holy shit. Obviously, I'll show the SA figure arts variant of of course his Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle in a second but my goodness this looks fucking amazing holy shit now yes I do know that it is basically the same hair piece as the Super Saiyan 2 variant but still you gotta admit this looks fucking fantastic I love how saturated and dark the master Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle is it looks so fucking good with this mold again. Fucking thank you so much, Lewis, for uh, adding this hairpiece to the custom figure. It looks so fucking good. I really, really love it. But now the moment that you've been waiting for, let's compare it to the SH Figure Arts Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle right now. And here it is next to the mastered Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle. And my goodness, man, what a difference in color. I mean, the SH Figure Arts variant looks so timid right now compared to the mastered variant. It's just unfucking real Now, this does remind me a little bit of that moment in the anime where Goku Black actually brings in a lot of his clones to fight Goku and Vegeta whilst I think he was fighting Trunks. Not 100% sure on that, but he brought in these extra clones who had darker Super Saiyan Rose hair. It's really reminding me of that right now, but still, fucking hell, the difference. The, it, it's huge and it's so fucking beautiful. Again, I cannot praise this and recommend this enough. This is a true must have custom figure for anyone that loved the Goku Black arc. Again, link in the description to Timmy Customs Instagram page. Slide into those DMs because trust me, you want to. Anyway, this just looks fucking epic. I love how the Mastered Super Saiyan Rose form looks so much more like a beast compared to the initial Super Saiyan Rose hairstyle. You know, it looks a lot more timid, relaxed, calm and collected whereas the mastered rose form looks a lot more like the fuck it let's break some necks and bones you know what i'm saying like this dude is ready to throw down like holy shit but yeah they look absolutely fucking fantastic together i didn't think the difference would be this big in regards to the color but it is and i'm here for it and i fucking love it so final thoughts 
on this custom figure on a scale of 1 to 10 this definitely takes it like I said in the Goku black figure review if you haven't watched it link in the description but like I said I said it, it was only missing one thing and it's right there that makes it perfect so yeah I'm gonna give this straight up a 10 out of 10 this is a must have custom to anyone who loved Dragon Ball Super and especially the Goku Black arc. This looks absolutely fucking fantastic. Again, Lewis, thank you so much for making this and, and adding this to the custom. The Super Saiyan 2 hairstyle looks phenomenal and this Master Super Saiyan Rose is just mm, chef's kiss. I really really love it and I'm very happy that it's part of my collection so thank you so much for adding this to the custom figure now if you want to have early access to all my content and add free content as well and, and get updates on what figure is next whether it's the next upcoming SH Figure Arts figure reviews or you want to know the next 40 upcoming SH Figure Arts figure reviews or you want to support me on a more personal level I have a link to my Patreon page down in the description below become a Space Ranger and all that good stuff and yeah, you'll get access to all of what I just said and yeah, if you like this video definitely give it a big Thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more of the Dragon Ball Super SH Fig Arts figure reviews and Yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say so from regular Super Saiyan Rose as well as this custom Super Saiyan 2 and mastered Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. I hope you had an awesome day I wish you an awesome day and see you guys and girls in the next video. Peace!